Hey, what's up, Alan? I'm here with Hollywood Undead. What's up, guys? How you doing? Thanks for coming in. Yeah. How you guys doing? Good. Yeah. Have you guys been to Canada before? Yeah, we played Toronto last year at the Reverb. You guys turn out. Big, bigger venue tonight. Yeah. Yeah, bigger venue tonight. Those are hot up there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Dude, Quebec was. Just Montreal's great. Wow, unbelievable. Yeah. Montreal is awesome. Toronto yeah. too. Like every city, I never collectively seen so many fine girls in one like one area. <laughs> Not even Los Angeles. Like really? Place. Yeah. If yeah. I had to move anywhere to plant my seed, it'd be correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll agree with you on that. Yeah. All right, cool. Montreal's dope for sure. Um, okay, so let's. Uh, I want to ask you guys sort of about the history of the band first. Um, how'd you guys? you know, hook up and, and start the band sort of, you know, back in the day when it first all started to happen. Uh, all of us have been in bands together for so long, like, since we were like 14 years old, we were just playing in bands, like local bands on Hollywood, playing like the Whiskey and like those local Hollywood venues. Nothing ever came out of it, and then we all started like, I grew up with almost everybody. I met him in Vegas, like when I was 18, he was like 16, he was passing out flyers like, for those escort things. <laughs> I need a minute, minute, minute. I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it. Fast amount. We had mutual friends, so we started hanging out. So then finally, like, me and Deuce, who's our singer, were like, let's just do a new kind of music. Like, we all listen to hip hop. Let's just do, like, some hip hop music mixed with what, the other stuff that we do. Made the first song, and then showed it to these guys. He, you know, did the second song. So it's like, we just started from there. It's all that good chemistry. We just, like, kind of melted. We all known each other since we were kids. So we finally were just like, let's just do something that's not been done before. The MySpace was, like, a big. Uh a big deal for you guys that helped a lot right oh yeah i mean it's like we go to a place like canada like toronto the first time we came it's like we had like 400 kids turn out like a while ago but it's like wasn't for my space you know and nobody would know who we were in toronto you know we weren't on the yeah. radio and all that stuff so um i wanted to uh <coughs> ask you guys about the masks i mean obviously you're not very adamant about wearing the masks but you guys do wear them I and mean, you're obviously again not the first band to wear masks just kiss let not you know tons of bands have done it back yeah it's been it's been going on i mean again since kiss right yeah um why'd you guys decide to do that when we first started like, we didn't want people to know what we look like just because we're doing like music we're like you know talking trash on people we're like let's just cover our faces like we're not trying to be like another band that's kind of like trying to be serious and take photos. Yeah. It's more of like just listen to music than like leave it up. Yeah, we started with like two dollar hockey masks, like just cover our faces. One of them put like a Del Taco bag over his head, and he had like an old <laughs> Halloween mask that he found. Yeah. Yeah, Executioner's hood. It was like that 36 Chambers album. Yeah. So it started out as like just covering our faces, and it kind of evolved with us, and we like designed them and turned more into like a fashion thing. And we all designed our own personal masks like that. Cool. But I mean, we're not so adamant about wearing. <laughs> you gotta show a face at some time. What's up, Cam? I got a mask on all the time. What's to do? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I want to ask you guys about um, like there's hip hop and there's metal uh, and there's punk in the music. There's also pop. Are you guys fans of pop music? Yeah, I mean, so there's pop music with pop. You have to have such good hooks. Like, how can you not like it? If someone's yeah. like, "Oh, that song sucks," like you're lying, dude. I'm like. <laughs> Listen to Britney you know, Spears. You, listen to, you know you're singing in your head. You're gonna hate it. Yeah, like, a lot of our hooks are very pop. It's like our singer was a. Uh, he just listens to music, dissects it, and he just like if it's not good, it's not good. He's like, I'm not gonna sing a hook that's not good. So yeah, it sounds like pop. So who cares, man? Yeah. Who are some of your influences? Because uh, well, let me ask you this: If you guys had to uh, recommend five albums to a kid who came to one of your shows, mm -hmm. and they're like 14, they're at that influential stage in their life where like music is probably a really big deal. Yeah. What, Five albums would you recommend to that kid? Take one, take one. Switch out. All right, <laughs> all right. So I'll go. I'll say N.W.A.'s greatest hits. Uh, Rage Against the Machine, the first one, self-titled. That's what I grew up on. Like that yeah. thing changed my life. Um, ooh. <laughs> Doctor Dre, 2001, for sure. Uh, Grave Diggers, it's a uh, Rizzo, like old group. That's like yeah. yeah. Two clips of two cups of blood. Yeah, yeah. it's a great, it's yeah. great album. Yeah, it is. Uh, I'm, already, I I'm not even thinking wrong. Dude, his iPod looks like a library of like mumbo jumbo. Like, <laughs> it puts it on a shuffle. It's like James Brown and it's like Mars Volta and it's Guns and Roses. Like the weird stuff going yeah. on. Um, okay, so uh, I wanted to also ask you guys about lyrical content because we're talking about MySpace. And is it true that you guys, uh, MySpace Records? Uh, when you first you signed to MySpace Records, yeah, and they weren't happy with the lyrical content. Yeah, we never actually signed with them. We were signed with Interscope, and they had like a deal with MySpace Records, and Interscope didn't want to release our record at the time, so we were gonna go with MySpace Records because they were like, okay, let's do it. And we're in like the contracts and signing, but then Rupert Murdoch bought MySpace, and he's like, you guys have to take out the cuss words and you know 
because they were going through some lawsuit issues and, yeah. and just came back on us and like, it was like, nah. Yeah, we're actually, they, they gave us papers that were like, yeah. the words you can't say that were highlighted. Like, each one of us had an envelope, like a manila envelope, yeah. just like highlighted with lyrics saying, Thank this you. out, 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 I was like, can't dude. can't say you have a girl on the leash. I'm like, I'm, I was talking about my dog. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what other words were on that list? Uh, I don't know. Internet? Can we <laughs> <on the internet? laughs> is this internet or is this live? Yeah, uh, we can believe it or whatever. It's a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Which is trouble when you're making rap music, right? Yeah, I mean, but it's like, so we just said no. We're like, no, we can't do that. This is not who we are. And if they were to throw like a million dollars at us, we were like, no, like you can't censor your music. This is like what we made. It's like, you can't take that around and like put the hood over us and we're going to walk out like zombies singing songs yeah. that we don't want to. But we had nothing but love for those dudes. MySpace Records still helps us out. Like, they really wanted to release it, and we wanted to release it with them. It just wasn't working out. Yeah. So no bad blood. Yeah. But now we found a home with Octone, and then Octone. Yeah. Mr. James Diener. <laughs> Hello, baby. <laughs> uh, what do you guys think of, um, I guess, are you guys, like, political or social guys? Because uh, hip-hop music, punk music, has always sort of had those elements. Some of us are so more than others. I mean, it's like... It's kind of a hard thing to touch bases on. We're like, you listen to certain songs and certain lyrics, and we're talking about, you know, religious stuff. And certain songs, we're talking about the government, certain songs, but not like. It's a hard thing to go over. It's like everyone has such different beliefs, and if you say certain things, like people attack you or they take it the wrong way. It's like, we're just so opinionated, but we try to do it like with style and stuff like that. Uh, you guys are also featured in the G.I. Joe trailer. Have you guys seen the flick? Mm-mm. Yeah. I don't yeah, think it's out yet. Uh, it's not out. That's why I was asking yeah. you guys if you'd seen no, it. It just went on the trailer. I don't know if it's actually in the movie. Yeah. Anybody yeah. just used it for the trailer. It's still cool. But that, yeah. that I that figured you guys like, might, because yeah. of that, it would have been they like, here, check out the movie. They um, actually just used, they used that song for uh, the new UFC video game coming out. Right on. Yeah. You guys are also matted, right? Yeah, yeah, that was matted. Cool. Yeah. That's gotta be cool when you when you when you play uh, oh, yeah. when you're in a video game. Like that's gotta be one of those moments where Dude, you're like, I, yeah. I uncheck every song and just leave my song so every touch I get boom undead. <laughs> <laughs> With the GI Joe thing, like we had no idea, like, cause they were just everyone was watching the Super Bowl and people were calling me like, Dude, you're on the GI Joe uh, trailer soundtrack, blah blah blah. I was at the subway station in North Hollywood and like it's around a bunch of people that didn't speak English, so like. I'm in the hot sun, like getting waiting for my ride, and people are like, "You're on, you're on the Super Bowl," and I'm like, "No, no, I'm, I'm in North Hollywood, like I'm at the subway station." <laughs> like, no, you're on the Super Bowl. I'm like, no, 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 I'm not. <laughs> and then finally, after like 10 minutes, I realized what was going on. Like, yeah, like the next day, like just people posting on your MySpace, yeah. just blocking it up. Uh, what do you guys listen to that's new? That's really, uh, you guys think is really good right now? Because you guys probably hear all kinds of stuff. Oh uh, yeah, I, I like sounds like old right now. I'm digging her. Yeah, her awesome. album. Yeah, her that album she came out with in the next she did. Top ranking. Yeah, that's pretty good. Santa Gold. Yeah, I, was, I like the new uh, Bring Me the Horizon album. Even though, I don't, know, I don't, know. <laughs> uh, I don't I gotta ask you guys about Limp Bizkit coming back. Do you guys think you'll tour with them? I think we might in Europe. I mean, in the States, like we're doing our own thing. Obviously, we're doing our own like little small headlining tours. But in Europe, I think we might do a few shows with them. I mean, like, Limp Bizkit, like, a lot of people hate on them now. Like, when I was at a, a record label a long time ago, I got, like, their greatest hit CD, and I didn't take anything of it, and I put it in my closet, never listened to it. Like, six months ago, I put it in my CD player, listened to the whole thing, I was like, dude, every song is good. Like, they actually are a good band. Like, yeah. And people hate them for whatever reason, but they're a good band. Like, listen to the greatest hits, and just know you're like, oh, that song sucks. Like, you move your head through it. Oh, dude, I had their album. All good. Guys, thanks for coming in. Yeah, oh, that's it?